King Midas Midas was the king of a country called Phrygia, where there was much abundance and prosperity. Midas had everything he could desire, a palace, a garden, a dog, a daughter. But there was something that obsessed him, gold. Midas wanted to have all the gold in the world and was not satisfied with what he had. One day, Midas had the opportunity to make a wish to the god Faunus, the god of wine and revelry. Faunus thanked him for treating one of his friends well and said he would grant him whatever he wished. Midas didn't hesitate and asked that everything he touched would turn into gold. Faunus warned him to think carefully about his wish as it could bring him many problems. But Midas was sure of what he wanted and insisted that the god give him that power. Faunus agreed and told him that, from that moment on, everything he touched would turn into gold. Midas hurried to his palace to test his new gift. He began to touch everything he saw, a stone, a flower, a table, a chair. Everything turned into gold. Midas was delighted and felt like the richest and happiest man in the world. But soon, he realized that his wish was a curse. When he wanted to eat, the food turned to gold in his mouth. When he wanted to drink, the water turned to gold in his throat. When he wanted to embrace his dog, the animal turned to gold and stopped moving. When he wanted to kiss his daughter, the girl turned to gold and stopped breathing. Midas was horrified and regretted his wish. He cried and begged Faunus to take away that power. The god, compassionate, told him to bathe in the river, and that would free him from his gift. Midas did as he was told, and upon leaving the water, he could touch things again without turning them into gold. Midas embraced his family and thanked Faunus. He learned that gold was not the most important thing and that he should value what he had. From then on, he lived happily and content with what he had and never desired more gold. Moral of the story, we should not be driven by greed, but appreciate what we have and what makes us happy. This was today's story, with its moral. Did you like it? You can comment below to let us know what you thought. If you want more stories with morals, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, I've provided several links in the description to books I recommend. We say goodbye with the hope that each story leaves a lasting impression on you. Until the next story.